Let me explain the dilemma I'm having right now inside of my brain and why this issue is going on festering inside of my soul. Recently, my friend turned 25. He said, all right, guys, you ready to have a crazy night? I said, I'm excited. I'm the DD, the dark dude, and the designated driver. I know exactly what I'm about to do. I'm about to sleep inside of the car. He said, no, 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 come in the bar with us. I hate being around drunk people nowadays. I'm 28 years old, and being around drunk people makes me agitated. It destroys my soul and mentality. But for him... I decided to do it. So I go inside the club with him. He's like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, this is fun. He has horrible dance moves. He does not need a drink to get this excited, but he does get drinks because he knows I'm the designated driver. I say, have you considered not drink? You're 25, you're at your physical peak. Have you considered not drink? And he said, nah, I just gotta live it up, man. You only get one life. I said, yeah, no need to tarnish your temple. He said, why'd you come out with me if you're gonna lecture me? I said, you're right, my bad, I apologize. Go ahead, let me, I'll buy you some drinks. I get him a Long Island iced tea immediately. He gets a sweet version of it. He's like, ooh, this is sweet. It sure is. And then he says, all right, I'm all slickered up. Let's go to the strip club. And thankfully, we arrive there before the cover starts at 10 o'clock. We arrive there at 942. We get to the strip club, and I'm a little bit confused why we're here. Why, why, what, why do strip clubs exist? I used to be a stripper. I used to be. I want to point this out. I, I used to be a stripper. I used to, you know, I used to put the pole dance. I, <laughs> I used to be great at it. I used to go over to Windsor in Canada, had a dance license. Everything was fine for me. I was great. I was fine, right? I thought I was doing great. I also got a vendor's license, too, and a fishing license. I got a lot of licenses, actually. I got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, we're in a strip club. I'm like, okay, cool. I haven't been in a strip club in five years. Five years last time I entered a strip club. So I'm in here, and I got a wife. I want to point this out. I'm just, I'm just looking around. I hate every minute of it. I call my wife and FaceTime in the bathroom, tell her what I'm doing. And she says, okay, well, you know, if you ever want to leave, you can leave. I love you. I love you too, baby. I'm just concerned in here. And he's getting a lap dance, and he touches her, and she puts his hand off him, and she says, no touching. He says, my bad, my bad. So I'm a little confused about why we're in here. So I'm, I'm just... I'm just we just going to get hard around each other? Is that the point of a strip club? I don't understand the purpose of this place. I, I don't grasp it. Is it a gallery? W what's the point of it? I, I don't I don't understand it anymore. Oh, it's to watch naked women, bro. You can do that online. But they're in person. Yeah, but they don't they don't care about you at all. This is it's worthless. You're just wasting money. The cover was $27, by the way. I'm not sure why it's such an odd number, like $27. That's a weird number to make a cover, by the way. We didn't pay the cover, but he pulled out $300 in ones, and he was using it sparingly. He's like, ooh, you got a little one dollar, hundred pennies. <laughs> That's ten dimes. <laughs> this 20 nickels. <laughs> Four quarters, Wow. He was just passing it out, passing the dollars out to all these women. And the women are just lying to his face. You're so handsome. Oh, you're so, you're so much my goodness. I know, I feel like they don't want to do that. Granted, I, I understand it may be a, a, a business. You may be making mad money by doing this. I understand that. But what's the, what's the point? Who created this? Who started this? What, who is the progenitor to have a bunch of your boys come to a club, sit down, and get hard next to each other? What, what does that accomplish? Leisure Blue Bald. Unless you go off in your pants. What's the point of that? So we're here at the strip club. And I, I just walk outside for a little bit. I call my girl again. I'm just I'm just confused. I I I said I I wanna go home. And she said, Well you can just get him an Uber if you don't want to be there. I said, No, it's his birthday. I, can you come up here? And she's like, sure. So she sits outside with me and we just talk about life. I just wanted to be next to my wife. I really did. I didn't want to be around that. One of the girls comes out and she's like Hey, you were just inside. I like your hair. I said, thank you. Appreciate it. I said, hey, what's the point of this? And she said, life? I said, no, we're not going to get metaphysical. I mean, what's the point of the strip club? What do, you, what do you gain from that? She said, oh, pass the time, I guess. And she walked away. Another girl comes out. I said, why do you, why do you, why do you think strip clubs were invented? And she said, lonely, depraved, horny, egotistical, weird, sad little men. And I said, okay, understandable. And then my friend, as if on cue, comes right out and says, guys, I'm broke. Oh, hi. He says to my wife because he just noticed he's there. She says, hello. I say, you ready to go? He said, yes, 
I am. <laughs> he smells like a bunch of perfumes, sweat. He smells like alcohol. So many different scents going in through the air inside of my car. I hated every minute of it. So afterwards, I ask him a question. I say, what did you gain from that venture? What did you gain from doing that? What, what was the purpose of you doing that? He says to me, I think I'm lonely. I said, what? He said, I think I'm lonely. I, I downloaded Tinder and I got Tinder Gold. I got, I got the plus version of Hinge. I haven't been really getting many matches. I said, oh, I'm sorry about that. He said, no, nah, I done spent about $7,000 trying to find someone to love me. I said, oh. He said, I just wanted to feel for a little bit. Feel what? Feel. Oh, I'm sorry. He said, no, nah, don't be sorry, man. It's not your fault. It's, it's my fault. I, I'm just out here. He always gets sad when he gets drunk and I have to deal with this fallout each time. But this was a different kind of fallout because I proposed the question. He said, I just, I don't have anybody. I'm going to go home. I'm 25 years old. I'm going to go home and I just got you, Davis, and one guy at work whose name I don't know that I just say hi to when I go to do my station at Amazon. That's all I got. I don't have much. I really want something. I want what you got for real. I said, my relationship's not that good. He says, you live with her though. You got a woman. I don't have anything. I said, you need a roommate? He said, you want to live with me? I said, no, I have a, I have a loft. Midtown Detroit, I'm fine. He said, oh. Well. Bye, I guess. And he went upstairs inside of his lonely one-bedroom apartment that he probably pays $1,400 a month for. And he has to go work the next day completely drunk. He works at 6 o'clock, so it was late. He got enough time to sleep off his hangover. 6 o'clock. And I, I just think about the sadness that perpetuates throughout people that must go to the strip clubs to show off to display their wealth to women who will never care about them spending money on people who would never give them the satisfaction of time or life just doing these worthless actions that mean nothing to no one it's sad it's a very sad reality to have i i hate that i want people to not do that I, I want people to look at themselves and say, why am I doing this? Why am I going to spend $101 bills? Why am I lonely? Why can't I do this? Why can't I find a sense of community or purpose? And some people have the church. Some people have the church. Some people have working out. Some people got rock climbing. Some people got art classes. Some people got college. Some people say it's difficult to make friends when you're older. I've never had a true issue making friends when I'm older. I just go out and just say hi to people and we're friends. I get their number and we hang out sparingly time to time. And I'm kind of integrated into the group. I get invited to cookouts all the time. It's really fun. I think people are scared because it requires effort. I think the reason the strip club exists is because you have a little bit of money. You can do something that you earned and you can get something that requires very little effort. You can skip all the talking interaction of a relationship and just get the end point. No touching. It's sad. It's like a loneliness epidemic. We're on social media. We're not even that social anymore with each other. And it's really sad. It's a sad reality to live in, I think. When was the last time you spoke to a friend and just caught up? When was the last time you called your mother... And despite the horrible, abusive, narcissistic mother that she was, just asked her, are you mentally okay? When was the last time you called your dad and asked that? When was the last time you called your sibling and asked that? When was the last time you had a heart-to-heart -heart with a best friend? Why did our hesitation become a full stop? Why are we scared to be? Is life that sad for you?